So there are many different facets of building new construction here in the greater Sarasota area. You know, you have to figure out your plans and specs for building a house, your different financing options. And more importantly, today we are going to be talking about the closing costs side of things for new construction, as it may differ a little bit than your typical end loan that you would buy for a pre-existing house. So on this episode, you know, we are bringing in our guest speaker again, Manny. He's a local construction lender here in Sarasota. And once again, this is just part of our new construction series that we are having here about, you know, in Sarasota, you know, a lot of people reach out to me talking about new construction, wanting to build new construction, mm -hmm. but yet again, they don't know where to start, what the process looks like and everything like that, which is why we are having you on this Thank episode you. today to talk about the overall closing costs. Cause I feel like, you know, being a real estate agent, I get asked, you know, when we have a house under contract, for example, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people ask, they're like, oh, what are my closing costs mm -hmm. going to be, right? Mm -hmm. So the same thing happens with a new construction house, even though there are a lot more variables that go into you know closing costs for a new construction loan than a regular loan Correct. Um, so I wanted you to break that down for Absolutely. us today in this video so we can answer Absolutely. you know everyone's questions Absolutely. well thank you for having me no, so it's imperative to know your, your costs mm -hmm. and the closing costs um, it's not your average three to four yep. percent of the loan amount which is what you can figure out in a regular yep. purchase uh, with construction it's a little more involved as you said and typically um, the first thing is your origination charge most lenders charge anywhere from one to three percent mm -hmm. um as an origination that's just uh you, it's just for them originating the mortgage it's not your processing and underwriting fee so that's your your number one and that's typically what will stand out um between lenders are they charging you one percent two percent three percent and when we're referring to the percentages it's obviously of the loan amount mm -hmm. not of the purchase price um so that's that's definitely important to understand um also, there's what they call welcome home fees. Um, <laughs> some people um, aren't aware that your HOA will charge you a fee uh, to, to come into the neighborhood. Um, there's also your prepaids, which is your taxes and insurance. Um, I always suggest that you set up your escrow accounts properly uh, at, at closing. Uh, your title company should be able to help you with that. Um, and that being said, you'll also have title fees. That's going to be part of your closing costs. Right. You're also going to have survey fees. Um, survey fees are, are just surveying the land and whatnot, but you're also going to have conversion fees. And the conversion fee is typically whenever your mortgage converts from either an interest-only product to a 30-year fixed. There's typically about uh, an 800, 400 to 800 dollar conversion fee, give gotcha. or take. Gotcha. Um, so it's definitely great practice to understand what the closing costs are right doing. gotcha so so yeah so those are kind of the closing costs that go into a, a you know a new construction mm -hmm. loan so mm -hmm. could you help us dis you know decipher between an end loan and a new construction what are the sure. major differences sure. and the major key takeaways absolutely from that, so so the end loan is going to have a lower closing cost typically okay and the main reason being is because there's no surveys yep. there's no conversions um it's just pretty much your taxes are already set up for you. You already know what the taxes are on that property, and that's on an end loan. As opposed to a CP loan, mm -hmm. you don't know what that tax assessment is going to look like until it's been assessed. Gotcha. Um, so typically the closing cost on a construction loan will be, I don't want to say a lot higher, right. but it is going to be a little significantly higher. Right. Yes. And yeah, it's a give or take, you know, when you're, you know, deciding to build new construction versus buying, you know, a pre-existing house, even though, you know, we already know that new construction loans do, you know, historically have a little bit higher of an interest rate than your mm -hmm. typical end loan. Right. So there are, you know, pros and cons right. of building new construction. It just ultimately right. comes down to one, your financing, you right. know, what you can afford. Right. Two, do you really want a new construction house or are you right. fine with a pre-existing house? And, right. you know, everyone's situation is a little bit right. different. And, and, you know, that's on the front end of everything. Right. But on the back end, a lot of people mm -hmm. don't see what comes into like the closing costs. Correct. You know, you know, I feel like Correct. that's one of the biggest things that, you know, a lot of people ask me, at least when they're buying a pre-existing house or even when they reach out to us to build a house here in Absolutely. Sarasota is, OK, what are my overall costs going to be? Mm -hmm. Even though mm -hmm. us as builders, we do have our own fee, you know, Correct. that's not wrapped into the overall closing costs. So what would you say, just generally speaking, percentage wise, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. a range of, you know, what would the closing costs? be for a new construction mm -hmm. versus an end, the end loan that's a, that's a great point um on a regular end loan you're probably looking at some people will tell you two to five percent off okay. the sales price some people will say three to four percent off the loan amount personally i like to go more off of the loan amount but i am a lender yeah. so <laughs> so i kind of stick to the, the loan amounts yep um 
but I definitely the end loans will have a lot lower closing costs. And you bring up a good point on the rates for construction. Con new construction, a CP loan will typically have anywhere from a half point to a point, maybe even a point and a half okay. more than a regular rate. So that leads me into your closing costs, which is per diem interest. Per diem interest, you pay every day that you live in the house, no matter what you're paying to live in that house, whether it's built or to be built. Mm -hmm. um, so that being said, your per diem interest is calculated in your closing costs. Okay. And what that typically means to you is once you close, when is my next payment going to be? Is it going to be the following month or the month after the the the, the following month? If that right. makes sense. Yep. Um, and the reason being that's important is because the per diem interest is what dictates when you're going to make your first payment. Ah, uh, gotcha. So, okay. so typically, I mean, the most I'll ever connect is is a month, yep. which is thirty days. But that does have an X factor in your closing costs, whether it's 15 days or 30 days. Your per diem interest can be anywhere from $50 a day or it can be depending on your loan amount and the kind of house you're building. Gotcha. OK, cool. Well, thank you very much, Manny, for, you know, kind of, you know, helping us differentiate the, you know, the difference between a new construction loan closing costs versus, you know, an end loan closing costs. So as you guys can see, there are a lot of major differences that come to new construction loans for versus end loans that you typically have for pre-existing house not only is the interest possibly a little bit relatively higher than a new uh, than a you know an end loan mm -hmm. but there are different things on the end side of things in terms of the closing costs and everything like that mm -hmm. so once again Manny thank you very much thank for you. talking to us about you know the closing costs here for new construction so if you guys are looking to move into the Sarasota area and you guys are from out of state I know myself I was originally from Wisconsin I had a lot of questions about building new construction here in Sarasota but then also finding a pre-existing house here in Sarasota as well before I became a real estate agent and really I couldn't find anything online which is why I create a buyer's relocation guide for both Sarasota and Northport talking about you know the top 10 things to do in Sarasota and Northport you know the best place to eat the best place to stay and also you know the school systems what you know the school ratings are for each of the schools here in Sarasota County as a whole and there's a lot of other things you guys need to be checking out before you even make the move to Sarasota because to be honest with you you know there's a lot of great things about Sarasota but then there's not you know there's a lot of things that people need to be aware of before they move to Sarasota so be sure to go check out that buyer's relocation guide down below at the bottom of this description but once again Manny thank you very much for talking mm -hmm. to us about the closing costs and we will catch you guys all next week